Okay, now it's time to show you how this low pressure solar cooking jar turned out. I use this piece of paper here for just as a shield. And when I'm using the low pressure system, I'll cook with it this way. I'll put the seal upside down. And also, I'm gonna take this piece of tape off of here. All right. I'm trying to do this with one hand, so bear with me. Okay. Now, when I put when I put this in the solar oven with food, I, I expect I'll be able to put dry beans in this jar in the morning and in the afternoon they'll be very tender. And that's the value of the low pressure solar cooking system. I put the seal on there upside down so it won't make a seal. If I put it this way, I'll be canning. So what I do is I turn the seal over. Make, of course, I make sure it's all very clean. I put the lid in there, on there, and I cinch it down very firmly, more firmly than I can do with one hand right now. I cinch it down there nice and tight. And uh, the heat and pressure work together to cook the food more quickly. I believe I'm gonna have to do some experiments to prove it. I've, cooked a lot of things this way I just haven't bothered doing a uh, you know um, test where there's jars with just a lid or whatever but it makes it handy to have this window right here because when you put it in the refrigerator at night you can see it's corn or beans or meat or whatever else vegetables fruit I like to cook fruit in a jar like this. Apples with brown sugar, butter, a little bit of cinnamon. It tastes wonderful. Pears, um, mango, peaches. It's all good stuff. Low pressure solar cooking.